Hello, I am Argamalich, and I'm going to teach you the bare bone basics of v -Rid. Now, you can download v -Rid Studios from their website, but it'll be vroid.com slash n slash studios. You can probably just do vroid.com and it'll come up with it. And then you'll click download. Once you do, you'll get a zip file. You'll unzip it. You'll get a folder that looks like this. And then you can double click it and it's going to launch the program. The program runs fairly slow. Uh, it might take a little while to start up. It comes with some default avatars, or you can make your own. If you have commissioned someone for an avatar, let's close this out real quick. Let's say you have this Vroid file that you were given by commission, or maybe you downloaded it. You're going to want to go into your documents folder. You're going to want to find the Vroid folder, and there'll be avatars. Yours won't have this new folder that's strictly in line. You'll drag and drop your Vroid file in there. And then you're going to relaunch Vroid Studios. And then your avatar will be right here. You can click it and it'll open it up. And now you have your avatar. So if you're all set with your avatar. You can go over to camera and exporter. You'll want to come down over here on the right side and click export. And then this export button, it's going to come up with some settings. You hit okay. And then you find where you want to export it. Let's talk about if you want to change your avatars outfit. Uh, you're going to go over into clothing and over here it has a bunch of outfits that come preset in the program. Chances are if you've had one custom made there's a lot of things that you're going to have to remove or adjust such as going into textures and we're going to talk about that now. Um, first I'm going to remove the hat. And we'll just do that with a snap of the fingers. There we go. Um, we're going to go over to uh, body editor. And we're going to remove all this under layer drawn stuff. Uh, on body editor, there's a texture tab. You're going to click on that and you're going to kind of cycle through and right click and turn off visibility on everything. Uh, if for some reason the skin has stuff drawn on it, you're going to want to do a new layer. It'll pop up at the top, always, always. You're going to take this brush tool. You're going to go uh, over here, grab a brush, pick your skin tone, and we're going to start brushing on it. If you click the mirror button, which is this little button up here, it'll allow you to draw on one side or it'll mirror it'll draw on both sides. And what you're going to do is just fill in literally everything. with this color and it's basically like erasing it uh, but since we're doing it on a new layer we're not losing our original outfit um, I'm gonna leave like that. all right and that is pretty much that now let's say you want to download an outfit off of the booth so Booth is this wonderful little website that you can go to. It's booth.pm and you can search for outfits here. In fact, we're going to go for Vroid. We'll just search Vroid and see what comes up. All right, look at this. These are all these outfits that people have made. Uh, some of them cost money, but if we go down, we can go to the zero dollar, zero yen one and see if there's anything here we like. And we would like to download and possibly put our character in. Let's see, what's a nice outfit? 
Oh look, it's one that I've made. <laughs> How about this one? This looks like a nice dress, right? Let's see, we have a few parts to this dress. Um, if we use a uh, translate, hopefully it'll uh, help us translate this page. There we go. So this is telling us exactly what each one is. So we have like a black ribbon, we have black heels, we have a one piece dress and a skirt. So let's do the uh, one piece dress. So we're gonna download it. All right, and so it has downloaded into this outfit right here. It's going to be a PNG or it might be in a zip file, but that's fine. And this is for the one piece dress. So what we're gonna go is over here. We're going to find the top that says one piece. There's a few different versions. This one happened to be the long sleeve. I want to say. Um, I don't know what's that, what's that uh, sliders we need yet, but first we're gonna go over to texture. We're gonna go to the default image, right click, import. We're gonna find it on our, our computer and we're gonna put it in. There you go. And then we have that. And that is the top part. If we want the rest of it, we have to go back to booth and we can download the rest of it. Uh, the rest of it had the bottom part, which was a skirt. So we're gonna import the skirt. Ooh, this nice little floral skirt there. And there we go. And that's how we've changed our outfit. Go over to camera exporter. You can try out different poses. If you like a pose, you can stop it, you can capture it, which will save this. I do recommend, however, before you do that, you go over to post effects, go to any aliasing, go to high, maybe adjust your capture size so it's of a higher quality. And you might even want to change the background to something you can chroma key out, like a green. Or maybe you just wanted a white. Can you capture. So you picture. I'll pick one. And that's pretty much uh, the extent of loading in an avatar and changing its clothes on booth. Uh, each item of clothing will need to load in a different texture area. Um, and what I mean by that is not all of them will be one piece. Some of them are going to use the uniform top. Some might use the hoodie. It, it really all depends. Now, if you happen to have a uh, character model that you've commissioned that has a tail or something, chances are that's not going to carry over. Uh, that has to be done elsewhere with some Unity work in order to get that tail to attach. Yeah, then if you like that, you can export it and you can use it. And that's it. This is a short, dumb video, but I hope it's helped you know just the basics of loading in your VRM and changing the outfit. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.